This morning, our series Rebuilding America looks at a school lunch revolution in the middle of the country. Now, you probably remember your school lunches as unappetizing piles of meat and overcooked vegetables, but not in Wisconsin. Some schools are not only growing their own food, but also harvesting and service serving it the same day. Roxana Saberi shows us how one man's experience at an urban farm led to fresh and tastier foods for students hundreds of miles away. At Ashwabanan High School near Green Bay, Wisconsin, a fresh take on cafeteria food is flourishing. When you get a bite of the salad, it's just amazing. I eat it every day at school. So fresh. Do you know where it comes from? No idea. It was grown and picked just down the hallway. Fresh food can be grown easily in Wisconsin in the middle of the winter. With no soil in sight, this indoor hydroponic garden relies on circulating water, special nutrients, and around-the-clock light from LEDs. We've done tomatoes, beans, sugar snap peas. Each month, the machines cost around $360 to run. But nutrition coordinator Caitlin Tariainen says the school is actually saving money by growing 850 pounds of produce for up to 2,000 students instead of buying organic greens. A lot of our kids aren't exposed to fresh foods at home just because it's financially hard for the families to purchase those kind of things. Is this the only place where they're getting fresh vegetables? It may be, absolutely. It sets up in about 45 minutes. The system stemmed from the imagination of Wisconsin native Alex Tyke. <laughs> Trained as an opera singer, he got into rooftop gardening in New York City between gigs and turned the 2,500-year-old technique into a modern-day company called Fork Farms. Food is already having to travel further and further to get from seed to plate. Our food system is failing us. It's probably some of the best lettuce I've ever eaten. Mark Gearock got grants to buy two of the $5,000 devices for the food bank he runs near Milwaukee. As the cost of food continue to rise, it becomes more valuable than anything else. In Milwaukee public schools, where school officials say more than 80 percent of students are economically disadvantaged, 80 units have sprouted. What kind of plants are these? It's chives and cilantro. 11th graders Ab Sheng Zhang and Theo Her help manage the largest one in the basement of Vincent High School. So did some plants die along yeah, the way? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> a lot? <laughs> yes, a lot. Since we do grow culturally diverse vegetables, I've learned a lot more because at first I didn't know what bok choy or tatsoi was, and I really liked it. And teacher Tyler Foote says they're harvesting more than just vegetables. We want to show students that we're able to grow food wherever and however. They're planting seeds for a healthier future. Can you one day feed your whole school with what you grow here? It would be a dream of ours to be able to do that. For CBS Mornings, I'm Roxana Saberi in Appleton, Wisconsin.